Okay, so today I'm going to be working with um, the November uh, Studio Calico kits and I'm going to be starting with two photos. I've noticed that because my kids are older and because we aren't living um, at home at the moment, I don't have a lot of photos to work with. I haven't been taking the same number of photos um, and because my kids typically uh, avoid the camera and don't do any kind of cute things, um, my photo taking is, is a little more limited than normal. So um, I've pulled a photo of our house and then of um, some logs that um, we'll be using for the fire. So I kind of felt it went with the whole autumn home, cozy um, kind of vibe. So I'm going to use those together and just create a page about um, how I love where we live and, and that kind of thing. So that is the um, topic of my page. So I know I want these two photos side by side. So um, I'm going to start by deciding whether I want to work on an 8.5 by 11 or a 12 by 12. So I'm just going to lay those out and see, I'm going to, my plan is to have the two photos um, a little lower than center and to basically do all of my pattern paper and embellishing um, beneath it on this bottom half, maybe making some kind of a grid um, underneath. So I don't know that I want to go, if I use a 12 by 12, my thought is that I'm going to go across all the way and then I'm going to have to build up here on the side, whereas if I go with an eight and a half by 11, um, I will already get that whole width. But I think what I want to do is um, one of the add ons came with this kind of uh, cotton fabric. And I think I would like to actually use that as a photo mat. So if I do that, the eight and a half uh, isn't going to leave me a lot of room. So. I think, think I'm going to try for a 12 by 12 so as you can see I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants here so <laughs> so enjoy. Um, okay so I think I'm going to go with this. So I'm just going to start, I don't know what I'm going to do with the fabric yet but I'm just going to start with it here and I'm going to lay out um, a grid beneath. So what I've done is I pulled one of these, um, it's a gold foil. Um, little die cut from a Maggie Holmes pack. So I'm going to use that and I think this tag to kind of make my grid. And I think I'll put some pattern paper in there. So what I've done is I've pulled um, these, let me see there was one more, a few papers that I really loved from the kit. And then I kind of thought went kind of with the whole fall cozy deal. So I think, okay, I like that one. So I think I'm going to use that one in the corner. So I'm just going to eyeball a little piece here. Straight is very rarely my friend, so that totally works out for me. Okay, and I'm just going to make kind of, I have my little uh, grid going on the bottom. And then I also pulled some other things that I loved from the kits. I really loved um, these kind of vellum um, leaves, so I'm going to try to work those in. Um, and then also some more uh, little die cuts and probably uh, just layer those on there. I don't have a lot of journaling, um, so I'm going to try to uh, just do more embellishing. So I grabbed two leaves that were my favorite. So. I'm going to probably stick them there and then I also grabbed this little, um, it's probably a two by two, maybe not quite, um, it's just a little die cut again from the Maggie Holmes pack. So I'm going to see if I can layer these in here a little bit. And then again I grabbed some other little bits that I liked, a little heart, um, which I'll maybe use in the center and a little exposure. Uh, die cut that I'll maybe try to stick somewhere and then there was a little label or a little banner pardon me that said no place like home which I thought went with a whole home thing so we'll see maybe I'll do a cluster here for my journaling since I don't have a lot I'll just use a little label and a banner and we'll stick this um, not sure I'm gonna use this actually so let's leave that off 
I might stick it up at the top with a strip of pattern paper. Um, one of the items in, I can't remember which kit it is, but I'll link to it, um, had these uh, Amy Tangerine kind of craft uh, scripted words. And they're awesome on their own, but what I decided to do was um, I took the one that said Dream and I spray painted it gold, which in reality isn't that different from the craft, um, as you can see, but in my head I know it's gold, so that's... That's good enough. I'm going to use that for my title. I'm probably just going to layer that on this side. Okay, and I think what I want to do is I feel that I want, let's see, I feel that I want a smaller leaf, but I don't think I want to cut one of these smaller. So I think I'm going to just take a pattern paper. One of the other ones that I had pulled aside. I'm going to fold it. Ah, position this right. And I'm just going to cut a smaller leaf out of it. And I think I probably will go, and I'm going to fold these leaves as well. I just like the little bit of extra dimension that that adds. So I think we'll pull it in something like that. Okay, so I'm having second thoughts on my size here. I'm going to be bringing this in um, probably right on top of this uh, photo arrangement. So I just want to make sure, I'm not 100% sure that I like all of this. So I'm just going to see, just going to double check what happens if I, if I slide everything onto here. And if I just move things in a bit, how I feel about that. Yeah, I think I like that better. So, okay, let's go back here. And this is how things normally work in my world. Um, <laughs> there's, there's like changing things like deep in the 11th hour. And I'm okay with that. So it's just something that I'm... I'm used to. So I think we're going to go with this. I like this. Okay, so I know my arrangement is going to be somewhat like this. So I'm going to take, I'm going to put some splatters up in this corner. So I'm just going to move that section out of the way for now. And I'm going to take my abused spray paint. I'm just going to hold it over here so I don't accidentally spray it on my page. And I've just sprayed in the lid um, like I normally do. And then I'm just going to drop some paint there. So while that dries, I am going to trim my... Um, I'm going to move this out of the way for a second here. Okay, I'm going to trim my uh, fabric. And because I've now moved to an 8 by half, eight sorry, 8 and a half by 11, I'm not going to use... A lot. So I'm probably just going to trim uh, this down. I'm going to wait for that to dry and I'm going to adhere everything and sew everything um, and then I plan to add some embroidery embellishments. So um, let me do that and we'll get right back at it. Okay so most of the major elements are sewn down so I'm just going to go and kind of pull up some of the pattern paper um, edges. I'm not 100% sure that my spray paint is dry yet, but I'm just going to try to stay away from there if I can. And hopefully we'll be all right. And I stuck in that piece of black and white stripe that I had talked about, so we're good there. So the one thing that I changed slightly was um, I wanted to add a little bit more um, to my leaves. So what I did was I took a piece of um, copy paper and I traced roughly around um, the leaf. I didn't want it to be exactly the same. I wanted it to be a little bit larger and a little more uh, wonky, for lack of a better word. And so I did that to both, and I sewed down the center. I'm not sure if I hold that up if you want me to some better. I'm not sure you can see that. Um, but I sewed down the center, and then I bent them in half so that when I stick them down, they can kind of be a little uh, three-dimensional. Whether they stay that way in the page protector, I don't know, but I tried. Um, 
so my concern is that they might be too large, so I might cut that down. Um, but another thing, aside from copy paper, book paper also gives a really cool effect when you do that. Um, and on this small leaf, I actually took some of the fabric and I traced around the leaf I had cut out of pattern paper, sewed it down the center, and then I have a little bit of uh, fabric there as well. So I'm going to see if I can arrange these properly. I may uh, want to trim them down a bit. I'm going to try not to because I think they're nice the way they are. Okay, I think I'm good with that there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to staple them down. I hope I'll hit all three somewhat. Okay. So I did. So now they're just easier um, to maneuver around. So I'll make sure I have those where I want them. And I'll stick those down. And then I'll add that um, miscellaneous photos tab. I'm going to try to staple that down too. We'll see if I can reach that high. Oh, close enough. I'm going to add in a little wooden clip that was somewhere that I found in one of those kits. And maybe I'll see if I can stick a heart right on there too. I'm going to curl that up a little bit. Now the other thing I thought about adding was a few sequins. So I'm not 100% sure though. So I'm going to place some out here and just see what I think, because I do want to add a little bit of stitching yet, but I feel that I have a lot of space here, so I might stick a few, just a few around here. Okay, I like that, and the reason I like this arrangement is because it kind of brings everything in a circle. So I have my title, and then you kind of go, this photo is, to me is heavier than this one. So it kind of goes around, follows the stream of embellishments back through the lips. So it kind of like brings your eye across the whole page. So I think I'm just gonna um, stick these on. I might try to get my stapler um, through there yet. But for now, um, I'm just gonna tack them down. And then I wanna add a little bit of embroidery. And now that I have this circle going, I may try to keep it in there. Originally I thought I might scatter them around, but now I might stick to this. So my plan was, because the whole vibe of the November kits is kind of cozy and and warm and stuff like that, to maybe add some hand stitching, kind of a little handmade element. So I'm going to stick a I have a pad behind there, and I want to do little tiny crosses. I don't know where, so I'm just going to go for it and cross my fingers that it turns out awesome. So I'm just making four little holes, and ideally if I had my paper piercer handy I would use that. see where else we'll put one here and I'm deciding to go with a pink thread in the end I added um, this pink pattern paper in the bottom right um, because I had it looked like my floral pattern paper just kind of stopped and either I would have recut that and extended it but in the end I thought just to do a, um, a piece of the pink and kind of bring in this little slide so I've got one two three Four. So I think I still have the whole uh, kind of circle thing going. So I'm going to try to do this without disturbing my spray paint too much. So I probably won't do them all. You'll get the gist of it. I'll do one. Um, and then you'll see, um, I'll share a picture at the end of the final, final layout. It's probably not going to make a huge difference to this page but it's just one of those little one of those extras I'm hoping okay I, nice little uh, crosses aren't 
awesomely shaped, but <laughs> but I don't cut straight, so why should my crosses be straight, right? Makes total sense. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one. I'm probably gonna do one at the top just to kind of see. Yeah, so you can barely tell there, but it's there, and I know it's there, and I think it just adds to that, that kind of home feel. Um, originally, my plan when I was planning my layouts for this kit was to do a page that was kind of centered around this little embroidered cross element to have that like dominate my page heavily, but I didn't get around to it. So maybe you'll see these in my gallery next month or... Okay, so here's a little trick. My thread is uh, too short. So instead of um, pulling it through or whatever, I'm just gonna take a piece of some random washi tape and I'm just gonna hold my threads down like that. Okay, so I'm gonna finish my little crosses. Um, but I think that this page is, is done and I like the fall scheme um, that the November kit brought. And I think it's very versatile and it's gonna work for a lot of um, my photos, I think. But there you have it. So just a couple ideas on how you can alter um, leaves and layer with fabric and whatnot. And thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of the gallery.